Alrighty, everybody, what is going on? It's your boy, The Games in here, back at it with another awesome video. Alright, my dudes, my guys, my girls, what is going on? Happy Monday to all you guys, and hopefully you guys are out there catching them all. As you guys know, we represent... We represent the Dollar Tree here on this channel with our Gotta Catch Em All hat with all of our Pokemon fan favorites on the brim of the hat. Our Gotta Catch Em All hat. Pew, let's move that bad boy out of the way. All right, guys. Guys, a lot of you guys probably wondering what in heaven's name is this sign doing up? Well, if you guys don't know, i reiterate just a little bit, guys. New laws, bylaws for YouTube in 2020 has taken place for a lot of channels. To stay in compliance, to stay in compliance with YouTube, FTC, and the COPPA Child Protection Act. Guys, the sign is for viewers under the age of 13. Please, this channel, I have marked my channel as a not for kids channel. And, uh, well, if you're not under the age of 8, under the age of 13, please have your parents and guardians permission to be viewing any of these videos. It also pertains to any of you guys entering in these giveaways that I do here on the channel. You must be at the age of 13 or older. So if you're not, please make sure that you have your parents or guardians permission before you enter in any of these giveaways or enter in or watch any of these channels that, uh, that pertain to my videos here up on the screen. So this is a temporary sign. I'm having a professional sign uh, printed up. So this is just temporarily. I forgot to put it up the last time I did my first video uh, here on YouTube. So this is my second video up on YouTube for the year 2020. And uh, I didn't forget to put the sign up. So this sign will follow every video that I go up. And it will be posted here in case we get some viewers that are under the age of 13 or looking at this video. All right. So uh, make sure you are in compliance with the channel guidelines and the requirements to enter into the giveaways here on this channel, guys. So make sure you read this in its entirety to stay in compliance. And I thank you for your compliance. All right, so 13 years age or older is required to be viewing these videos. So if you're on your parents' account watching YouTube when you're not supposed to be watching it, well, don't enter in this giveaway unless you got their A-OK -okay to enter in a giveaway to claim any prizes because we're not going to be dealing with people under the age of 13 that are entering a giveaway, all right? But I have to do my end of the I have to do my end of the deal holding up my end of what I agreed to with YouTube, stay in compliance with what they have us to stay in compliance with. So, I have to enforce this and keep this up for when I do my videos. All right? So, this sign for now till I get the professional one done up. Uh, that will be on my videos. Um, guys, make sure you read the sign. All right? Remember, if you're found and you're under the age of 13, you enter in a giveaway, you will be disqualified, guys. Failure, failure to comply with the rules in force for this 2020 with the FTC, YouTube, and uh, COPPA, you will be disqualified. That means if you're under the age 13, your tickets will be removed from the jug. You will be disqualified for all the giveaways. All right? Not going to be playing around on this end and get in trouble with YouTube for having people under the age that's not supposed to be here. All right? So just make sure you are following suit. This is not like the old school from last year where there was really no compliance with YouTube on what age people can watch your videos. We have to really be in force and... We have to stay in tow with what YouTube has us to do to keep our channels rolling here in 2020. So it's not by my strong arm. It's by YouTube's strong arm for where we got to comply with these rules that they have us doing in order to keep you guys to come back and watch our channels that love what we represent here for YouTube. So stay in compliance with this, guys, and we should have smooth sailing here on this channel. All right? Welcome, Sir, Sink, Sir Link, Ricardo, Sylvia... All right, so I did post this to Instagram, so it is up on Instagram. All right, and uh, it's going to be up here on my channel, guys, uh, when I do my video. So it's going to be up here. I'll be taking it down, and uh, when I close out video, it'll be back up again. Uh, but that's how it's rolling, guys. All right, so there you go. 
I had to have that done up just so I can post that up. All right, so without further ado, guys, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic new year. I mean, uh, hopefully you guys still get your jobs. Some people might have got laid off because some companies might have been closing. There's a lot of closings going on. Uh, you know, companies going out of business and stuff. So hopefully you guys are not on that uh, end of the uh, rope there where you're uh, going to be, you know, out of a job. So uh, a lot of companies, 2020, just can't make it, can't seem to make things work. Uh, and some of them have been struggling through the year of 2016, 2019 and decided to close their doors. Um, you know, so, you know, hopefully you guys are not one of those companies that are folding up and you're going to lose your job and then have to seek elsewhere for unemployment, you know, for employment and what, what have you. But, uh, all you guys with YouTube guy channels, I wish you guys all the very best. A uh, shout out to my guy, my dude, uh, what is his name? Uh, Collector Cousin, I think it was, just folded up his channel, guys. If you guys don't know who Collector Cousin was, um... Long-time YouTuber, guys, and uh, you guys think that, you know, a lot of YouTube money can be made from doing channels and stuff. I mean, certainly you can make a, a, a full-time income from from doing this, but go check out Collector Cousin, man. I loved his channel. I was a subscriber to his channel, not just a viewer sitting on the sidelines watching him do his openings on his Pokemon packs. I watched this guy's channel, all right, and I was a faithful subscriber to his channel. Um, and he came straight out, guys, that uh, um, that he, he's no longer going to be doing YouTube. 470-something thousand subscribers, guys, for Collector Cousin. And he folded up. Folded up his channel, upped and packed, and is done. Done. Not doing YouTube anymore. And behind the scenes, behind the scenes, the whole entire time, I know it was hard for him to come to the table and say, you know, what he was doing. Uh, but... On top of that, guys, you know, it's a lot of time we put into making videos. And then when you get to editing, uh, it's it's crazy amount of time. And if you're working full time and then you're doing editing, God, my hand goes out to you guys with all these creative editing skills you guys got. I know it takes you guys hours and hours of time to get your videos top notch. And my hand goes out to all you guys with those editing skills. All right, because it's a lot of time of work that goes into your videos, just like Collector Cousin. And on top of that, if you're working full time or still working at your normal job and you're doing all these editing and videos for all the YouTubers that you have following you, my hand goes out. I salute all of you guys. And my hat truly goes off to all those YouTubers that are doing this for, you know, uh, for, for all the people that are watching their channels. Because it's a lot of a lot of time goes into these videos. Um and quite frankly, if you're not making any money from them or if you're making enough just to get by, you know, um, some of us may find that it's not worth our time to be doing YouTube. Um, and in the case of Collector Cousin, guys, I just got to put it on the table. Um, this guy was working full time, full time job, even though he got 400,000 subscribers. You guys say, oh, if I got 400,000 subscribers, I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to do all of this and I'm, I'm going to do YouTube full time. But just think about the cost of the openings. The cost of just the space that for what you're doing, for, for what you're buying to do your YouTube channel, I mean, has an overhead cost. The cost per video, I mean, the cost if you got, you know, uh, if you decide to do it full time or if you're not doing it full time, like Collector Cousin was doing it full time, but still working full time job, all right, was able to buy a car and able to put a nice down payment on the house. But still, you know, it wasn't enough to actually just keep him home, you know, to just do YouTube channel. So if you guys think you're making a whole lot of money from YouTube, yeah, you can make it with the AdSense. But you got to have a whole hell of a lot of subscribers on your end and a full commitment on that end to be doing that full time. And before you throw in a towel and say, I, you know, I'm going to go full time YouTube, better make sure you're making very, very good revenue to cover your cost to cover uh, your, ex, your, 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 your your cost of doing the business. Because whatever openings that you're doing on a channel per day, if you're doing it five days, seven days a week, uh, that's cost. It's $20 a video. You're opening up four booster packs and then some other stuff. You add up the cost of each booster pack. Your time, all right, the lights, all this stuff come into cost. Uh, 
your overhead, what, what, what you, you know, your bills in a household. I mean, all that comes into cost for doing business. I mean, it's you're trying to do YouTube full time to cover costs, you know, or, or try to make it full time. Uh, but you better make sure before you leave your job that you got all ends of it meet with, met with, with, with covering yourself for benefits in case you get sick. You got dental bills or health bills. Uh, you need to go to a doctor. Make sure you got that end covered because certainly. If you decide to end your career, your job, and go YouTube full-time, you could end up bankrupting yourself if you're not financially secure by making a lot, you're making a lot of money from YouTube to do it, first of all. And just because you got 400-something thousand subscribers don't mean you're going to be able to do it full-time, guys. So let's look right into Collector Cousin. Working a full-time job, full-time job, all behind scenes, even though he had 400-something subscribers, 400,000 subscribers, guys. So, you know, it's a lot of subscribers. To, uh, to, to, to say, let's walk away from a full-time job. And uh, quite frankly, guys, you know, I'm not here for YouTube fame, all right? I'm here for you guys to do my videos. I'm enjoying the time that I have here that I'm doing. So I'm not looking for that YouTube fame. I'm really not. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. But I'm not looking to go 400,000 subscribers. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I'm okay with that too, all right? Because I've seen a lot of people go up and down in their YouTube uh, careers, and I'm just having fun. And that's all I'm out to do with this channel is have fun. I've, I've met a lot of great folks here uh, and still meeting people as I'm still doing this YouTube. And ever since I opened up Instagram, I've been meeting so many people, uh, having so many followers over on Instagram, and I am just having the time of my life just doing these videos for you guys, meeting people, and reaching out, and doing other things uh, with Instagram and with this channel, that that is just suffice for me. And I just want to let you guys know, I thank each and every one of my subscribers, every one of you guys that been here from day one, when I was the Jedi channel, all the way up to where I am now. I wouldn't be anywhere on this channel if it wasn't for you guys. So I just want to say thanks to you guys. I salute every one of you guys. A lot of you veteran subscribers and new subscribers that come here day after day to watch this channel. And I just thank you all. So I just want to let you guys know that, okay? Uh, from the bottom of my heart to you guys, uh, thank you. All right? Thank you because, you know, um, this channel wouldn't be what it is today. And I do it out of my heart out of my pocket to do what I want to do with my channel. I have the freedom to do what I want to do with the channel. And I am so glad and so blessed to be here and do these videos for you guys. And I'm having the time of my life. And like I said, I'm not out for YouTube fame. If it goes there, it goes there. But I'm not out for that, guys. I'm not out for that. I'm out just to have a good time with this channel, meeting a lot of great people. I am meeting a lot of great people, a lot of great YouTubers out there reaching out to even me, following me on Instagram. The followers just continue to pile on. So I just thank you to all you guys. So uh, without further ado, guys, um, doing a little something different. We have some openings, but uh, it's a little more just just Pokemon openings. Uh, so got some more mail. So we're just going to go right on into that and uh, got some eBay mail. All the way from Santa Ana, California. So, uh, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, guys, I posted photos on Instagram because I've been under the weather yesterday uh, and uh, Friday. I was under the weather. Quite, like, I don't know if I got the, the flu or something. My nose was running. I, I, it might have been allergies. I don't know. Uh, but I was under the weather, so I didn't really post a video. Well, I didn't post a video. I'm not going to say I didn't really post a video because I didn't post a video. Um, didn't post a video for you guys yesterday because I was a little under the weather. And I just wanted to try to get back to myself. So um, the, the mail has been coming in. And uh, I got the eBay mail here. So we're going to take... I already opened this because I want to make sure what it is before I open the mail. Because I don't want any pornography or anything. If somebody might have sent me on here, opened up and showing you guys right here on the camera. Because I'm opening it up uh, right here live. You know, I opened it prior to this to make sure it's suitable for the channel. That there's nothing fluky going on with somebody just sending some kind of mail with something in it. I mean, I want to open it up and I got somebody's uh, uh, body part or something in here that, uh, you know, a rubber one or something. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, so just want to make sure it is legit stuff that's before I even bring it to the channel. All right, so got some eBay mail. And I got a, 
I got an uh, idea what it is because I'll show you on the back of the the back of the mail after I get it out. So let's open this up, guys. And, uh, well, we'll get that. because I got to get the other piece that came with it. So uh, let me get that other piece. All right. So uh, these I left out. This was bonus. It came in the envelope. Had it sitting on the bed and back of me. Uh, the guy gave me some bonus cards. Um, it was nice. I mean, you have to send these to me. Uh, it's eBay mail. It was an eBay order. Um, got a Nola Muck reverse holographic and a Beware reverse holographic. And that is a rare reverse. So these are bonus cards. And he gave me a nice little, well, Magic the Gathering soft sleeve. All right. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I got like a bonus bonus cards uh, from this eBay purchase. Um, so let's take a look at the mail. And uh, whoops, there it is. Turn it around. There it is, guys. It's my Nell Hilgo uh, GX shiny from the uh hidden fates so i uh, ordered this um i think i paid uh five to six dollars on this card um Ni Lego. i needed this for my hidden fates and uh came in the mail guys all the way from uh santa Ana, california uh back on december 30th uh when this was mailed out 2019 so finally arrived to the house uh, another awesome card to uh, help me finish off my Hidden Fates. If you guys don't know, I am making a complete, I say a complete master set of Hidden Fates. That's everything from all the common energy cards, for all the basic cards in the set, every GX, every EX, whatever. I am getting every card from Hidden Fates to make a complete master set of the entire set. Everything. Every card, every reverse hollow in the set, I'm making a complete master set. All right, so only a few cards shy. All right, the only shiny that I need, guys, is Umbreon, which hasn't come here yet. Um, I have every gold card, every gold card except Tapu Lele. So the cards are really dwindling down, guys. I need the Tapu Lele gold card, and that will complete the uh the um shiny set and the gold cards uh i will have everything so uh you're going to be getting more mail here on the channel so you'll see my gold cards when they arrive ebay mail uh and that will complete my gold cards the only one i'm missing is uh tapu lele all the other ones are on order they just haven't arrived here umbreon it's on its way so when that gets here it gets here uh, I needed an Umbreon. Uh, I was counting on the Pokemon Beard guy to come through with that one, but it's so hard to trade with that guy that I just can't get a deal going through uh, to get a trade. Um, so I, I rely on MC, NC, I was going to say MC, uh, NC Packbuster. I uh, mean him get these trades done super fast. Uh, so I know I have a trade. Uh, if you go check out NC Packbusters, you can see. Uh, that he had a bunch of fan mail opened up his five packs of Guardians Rising that he got for me for the community trade here. Uh, and the I got a confirmation from him that the Espeon uh, shiny is on its way here. So that was another shiny card that I needed for my Hidden Fates, guys. And another successful completed trade with NC Packbuster. When that end of the trade comes, uh, you will certainly have another fan mail from him with another opening with me showing the card here. And he's going to get another five extra entries into the giveaway. So, um, loving this, guys. Almost done with Hidden Fates. It is just so close. So close. Uh, I, I needed a... Um, I needed a... Uh, a Misty's uh, card. What the, was that card? Let me see where... If I have it here. Yeah. Hold on, guys. Yeah, I traded. I I, I I reached out to NC Packbuster uh, because I was going through all my reverse hollows on uh, Hidden Fates, and I reached out to him because I know he opened a lot of Hidden Fates just like myself. I reached out to him. I said, "Yo, dude, do you have a uh, a uh, Misty's Water Command reverse holographic? Because that is the only reverse holographic that I'm missing to complete my reverse holographic Hidden Fates." Um, set and uh 
He told me he did, so it's. he said he mail, he's mailing it out with the Espeon. So hopefully he mailed it out. Uh, if he didn't, NC Packbus, I just would say, dude, don't worry about it, because off camera, I pulled it. I pulled it off camera uh, just yesterday. Um, I opened up some Hidden Fates off camera. Um, off camera, I opened up two guard boxes of Hidden Fates, and I pulled out a Starmie GX. Um which I sold on eBay, so I did need this as well to complete my GX. And I, I think I need a Pinsor GX as well because I sold them on eBay. I wasn't going to collect all the GXs from Hidden Fates. Uh, but since I'm making a master set now, I need a Pinsir. Uh, so I have to get that uh, Pinsir. Um, and I need the Raichu um, promo. Uh, is it not promo? The Raichu, uh, the Raichu regular pull from uh, Hidden Fates. I have to get that card uh, because I sold mine because I wasn't going to collect. I wasn't even thinking about making a master set on the entire set. So I had sold off my cards that I had got opened and promo cards that I was selling them uh, on VI eBay. And uh, so a lot of these cards I had already sold, the GX cards, and uh, I opened up two packs of Hidden Fates um, and I actually pulled these two back to back. So right when I did a trade with with NC Packbuster reached out to him, I pulled that card that I needed for the set. So I actually pulled a Starmie as well. It was a double Wami pack. So off camera, um, I pulled you know that those two cards, and then uh, got to, I got a code card, two code cards for you guys as well. So you'll be getting these two hidden fake code cards. Pulled a reverse holographic, which I don't need. Um, and then uh, we got uh, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Geodude, Kubo and Crew, uh, Eevee, Energy, Farfetch, Jinx, Charmeleon, Magikarp. You just got the bulk stuff here and regular rare. There's a Misty's Determination and Poke Center Lady. But there was a reverse. Um, very hard to try to complete Hidden Fates reverse sets because uh, you get a lot of duplicates. Uh, and, you know, very hard to make that set. Very hard. Even harder if you're looking at centering on your reverses and then you're going to swap out ones with better centering uh, like I've been doing. So, uh, opened up two packs of Hidden Fates. Uh, pulled out two packs. These were all off camera. So, this was yesterday when I didn't do a video. I just, I was in the house. I said, you know, let me open up a couple packs. It was off camera. So, that's what I got off camera. Two packs. Two code cards right there, which will go to you guys Uh I will be giving those to you before we close out. Uh, fan mail, guys, right there. Boom. Not fan mail, but eBay mail. Um, yeah. Uh, really close to Hidden Fates. I mean, there's just uh, a few other cards that I need. Like I said, I need a Tapalele Go card and a few other cards. That's like two other cards, and that's it. I'm done with Hidden Fates. It's, it's going to be complete. So, um, got that. Uh, so, another thing, guys, is I want a giveaway, guys. So, uh, I don't enter too many giveaways on other people's channels. I, I, you know, I am blessed with so many cards, um, so many GXs, EX from all the, all the time that I've been doing here with you guys, the four years we're in, uh, opening up. I got so many booster packs, so many cards in stock. I mean, I just feel that it's right to let someone else win because I got so many, you know, GXs, EXs, um, that, you know... I'd rather see someone else win, but I did enter one giveaway, just being supporting of a channel, uh, and that was uh, Pokey Family. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's another uh, mom and dad and the two kids. Um, they had a little giveaway going on for 200 subscriber. Uh, I entered in, and uh, lo and behold, I won the 200 subscriber giveaway. And so let's uh, go right into that video right now, live with the uh, poll. So. Uh, the photo is shown on Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see a lot of stuff on Instagram uh, before you see here on the channel. So make sure you follow me over on Instagram. Links in the description down below for Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. Here it is. Here's Pokey Family. That is two E's, all right, in Pokey Family. There is my P.O. Box for fan mail for you guys. We'll talk a little bit about that later on in the video. So there it is from Pokey Family. I did open it up, guys, so there is where I opened it up because, like I said, I got to open this mail up. Just to make sure it is what it is before I pull it up on video. Because I don't want anything out of ordinary to be showing up on camera. Alright. And I'd be surprised as well as you guys. So I really don't want to be surprised. 
uh, without something, without knowing what it exactly is. Um, let's uh, share the letter because I love the letterhead he sent with me. So uh, if you follow me on Instagram, guys, you got a heads up on this long before anyone else did because um, I did a uh, a posting to my Instagram. So there it is, Pokey Family News. Love the letterhead with the energies. Love the uh, you know Pokey Family News. All right. Pokeball 200 subscriber giveaway winner. Congratulations. I will keep these letters and stuff like I get from winning uh, and giveaways and stuff because I I just uh, I consider it as fan mail, guys. It's just uh, it touches me, continues to make me want to do videos, and I'm so glad I supported the Pokey family. Another awesome channel that uh, is now uh, part of the Gamer Alliance. All right, so welcome, Pokey family. All right, and. Uh, Hopefully, do some collaborations down the road, man. All right, so here we go. Dear the Gamesman, Mike, there you go. That's me, a.k.a. Mike. Congrats on winning the giveaway of one pack. Thank you for being an awesome sub. We love your channel, and we wish you all the luck in your future pack openings. We hope you pull fire from this pack, Poke Family. So, uh, awesome, guys. Um... Very uh, grateful to be meeting folks, uh, you know, at other channels, uh, like this awesome channel member here. Uh, so, I mean, it's great folks like this uh, and the people that I meet and subscribers like you guys that we meet um, that you never know who you're going to meet or who you're going to bump into. And uh, it's just awesome. This is what I look to be doing, you know. Uh, maybe making some letterhead like this to be given with my giveaways uh, down the road because I think that was pretty awesome. It gives me ideas watching other uh, other giveaways uh, and how they do their giveaways and what they include with their giveaways. So it gives me a little heads up on uh, my future giveaways, what I can do. But I love that letterhead. Thought that was awesome, guys. Got a little letter of congratulations from the Pokey family. So awesome. Uh, just awesomeness. Just awesome. So, uh, let's get into, uh, what I won. Uh, we're going to open that up here on the channel. So, uh, let's get right into that. Uh, love the way he packed it, too. Um, it was taped. So, we're going to open it up, uh, pull it out. Did cardboard it. And I says, wow, when I got the pack, I thought it was like a whole bunch of them in there. It says, what? I won more than this? So, when I opened it up, it was just the padding on the envelope and the cardboard that he put and uh well guys we're gonna see if we gotta pull fire because uh my pack selection i picked was burning shadows and i told you guys about this giveaway that i won a while back that i selected burning shadows i think i had could have pulled the cosmic eclipse the unified minds or unbroken bonds pack from him uh i could have asked for but i went with burning shadows and uh, because I'm on the hunt for um, that, that ro not the Rasha Ram Charizard, but the Ch shiny Charizard, uh, uh, the uh, the hyper rare Charizard, which I haven't pulled yet from Burning Shadow. So I am on the uh, I am on the uh, hunt for that, and uh, we're gonna see if we can pull that today from this uh, one pack of Burning Shadows that I won from Pokey Family giveaway. So shout out to Pokey Family. Uh, Make sure you guys go check him out. I did put his, uh, I didn't put the link, but just typed it in down in the description. Uh, Pokey Family. Guys, make sure you check him out. Uh, he has over a little over 200, 200 subscribers. I think he's around 207 something. He's in the 200. So check him out. Make sure you check out the Pokey Family. All right. Uh, awesome, awesome guy with his wife and the kids over there. All right. So we're going to see if we can pull some fire from this pack. Hopefully, Pokey family, I can get some fire. Maybe we'll get that Charizard. Maybe pull a lucky pack off the shelf. And uh, might be a uh, shiny Charizard up in here. All right. Well, why don't we save that? Why don't we just give you guys that code card right off the bat? Right there. Give you guys that code card. Move that over there. And uh, let's get into this pack and uh, crack this open and see what we got. So starting off, guys, we got Leaf Energy. Energy! And uh, let's get the... Uh, let me see if I can get the music going. If the uh, PlayStation, uh, oh boy, doesn't look like it's gonna cooperate. Hold on a minute, we'll, we'll get the music going, guys, for our, uh, it did shut off on me, so we're gonna see if we can get that going. Why this reconnects? 
All right, let's see. We're almost there. All righty. Three seconds. Boom. Let's get it. Okay, there we go. Music is playing, so that's awesome. But the scroll... All right, there we go. All right, so we got heat more. We got that energy. Leaf or grass. Semi-seer. Trainer Kawhi. Ralt. Tangela. Tynamo. Crab Brawler. Inca. Followed by Pen Siege Reverse Holographic. And we'll get the drum roll. A rare, guys, an Electro Vire. Regular rare. So we didn't pull anything really, really awesome. But I thank Pokey Family for that giveaway. Thanks for sending that awesome Burning Shadows pack to me. And, uh, yeah. Loving that. Love myself some Burning Shadows. And, guys, make sure you go show uh, Pokey Family some love over there. Subscribe up. Over there, let them know the gamesman sent you over there to them. And uh, like I said, like, comment, subscribe over there, share them, share the video out. Make sure you uh, sub up so you can enter in for his next giveaway, guys. All right, so there we go. All right, I will keep that letter, guys. That was awesome. All right, so all right, moving forward into the video, guys. Got a couple more code cards. We'll just give you these guys. This is from Hidden Fates that I opened up. Boom, and there's another one right there just to get those out of the way. So you got those two code cards. I have some more code cards sitting on the side. So we'll be opening those up. But uh, right now, guys, we got some uh, Fortnite. We're going to open up some Fortnite Series 1 packs. Uh, I did go ahead and take the plastic off. And I only opened this one pack um, that I wasn't even too sure what came in it. So it came, had this one pack here. Wasn't even too sure on what it involved. But I wanted to take a look. And it was this uh, banana head looking Fortnite card. Um, epic outfit. So it is a epic card So of uh, banana head. I guess that's banana head. I don't even know what you call them. Peely. So number two number uh 233 so that was a extra card that i get in the foil pack all right we got uh one two three four five six packs of fortnite series one I'm gonna see if we can pull some hollows these are brand new fresh out the box uh see if we can get any of these hollow rares or what have you out of there prime time is it prime oh prime time pokemon is i'm just seeing sir links up there too same as primetime Pokemon. He's retiring. Wow. Yeah. Well, these guys throwing in the towel. All right. So we're going to see what we can pull here from this. I think there's any kind of pack trick, but we're going to see what we can get here, guys. Uh, which way is this thing goes? All right. We got Backbone. Card number 155, which is that guy. Cool biker dude. We got Whistle Warrior. Referee. <laughs> All right. We got Nightlight. And we'll flip it around. There we go. Nightlight. Who is this? Number 90. It's a common just artwork of the game. Uh, number 35 is another common. Don't know who this guy. Just another artwork card. And uh, number 76 is another com. Oh, fell on the floor. All right. It's another artwork of the card. Of the game, rather. All right. So that first pack, nothing in it. All right. And these packs are a little bit hard for me to calibrate. Uh, because uh, these are a little bit different than the Target packs. These are foil packs, kind of like the Dollar Tree packs. Um, contain six cards, but they're not plastic. They're foil, and they have a lot of air in them, guys. There's a lot of air in these packs, which makes it hard to calibrate these. So I'm not worried about calibrating these. I like the, I like the um, Target packs. All right, so we're going to see if we can get anything from here. Another artwork of one of those cards. Doesn't, doesn't even tell me who it is. Just a common card. That's another common. Uh, I think this is Drum Gun. Yep, Drum Gun, because I have the hollow of that. And uh, we got, uh, what is this? Scorpion, 138. And then we got, I think this is an Epic. 
epic or rare right here. Um, Insight. Yeah, it's a rare. 175, not a holographic. All right, so nothing yet. Still got four packs to go. But we're going to see if we can get anything from these uh, foil packs. There's a checklist. Nothing really spectacular. Some more artwork. Another artwork of the game. What is this? Some kind of spatula guy. Patty Whacker. Wow, 147. Another referee. Striped Soldier. And then we got, oh, we got Rey Mysterio. Mass Fury. All right, and that was a, that was a rare. So no holographics. No holographics. When I say hollows, um, let me see where, I, when I say holographic, guys, if you're looking for these hollows right here, that's what we're looking for when we open these Fortnites, all right? That's what I'm looking for. No guarantee in these packs. So like I said, they're hard to calibrate. I prefer to do target packs. I thought these were going to have, like, the wrapper around them like target, but they don't. Another artwork of the game. My daughter plays Fortnite. She's 18. She plays Fortnite. Cowgirl. Uh, Sidewinder. Gonna take my horse to the old town road. Gonna ride to the can no more. <laughs> wow. Sidewinder, 239. Um, got what this one is. Jack Spammer. Here we got Dennis Rodman. No, uh, we got Light Show. Uncommon. I think this is a rare. Yes. First Strike Specialist. That looks like John Cena. WWE. Oh, so we got John Cena. And we got Rey Mysterio. And we got Dennis Rodman. Wow. Superstars. Basketball? Wrestling? Who else could we have in here? Well, looks like The Undertaker right here, right? When he was younger. His younger years. All right, let's go. Let's get it. All right. We got another artwork of the game. Another artwork of the game. Another artwork on the game. Little, uh, what is this thing? Dark Glimp. All right, Princess Diana, Tinsel Toes, and Snorkel, which is a rare, Snorkel Ops. So no hollow in these packs, which I suspected probably wasn't going to have any, because these are got so much air in them, very hard to calibrate these. All right, so we got this artwork on this one, artwork on that. Oh, look at this guy. Red Knight. Legendary. Wow. It's a legendary, non-hollow. All right. What is this thing? Aguilar Axe. Holy mackerel. Why isn't getting whapped upside the head with that thing? All right. Star Spangled Ranger. Uncommon. And this got to be our rare. Gligger. Glider. Triple, th triple Threat, which is a rare Fortnite card. All right, so we did not get any holographics like this in any of the packs, six packs that we opened up here on the channel, but looking for those. Um, very hard to get these. I don't know if I'm going to open up boxes like this. Uh, probably going to get the, do the dollar packs and the, uh, the, um, the uh, what do you call it, target packs, because uh, I didn't know these were going to be in the foil with so much air like that. If you guys are interested in this Fortnite, I do have a bunch of Fortnite. I don't know if you guys are trying to make sets on Fortnite. I do have a bunch of bulk on Fortnite. You guys, hit me up. We can also do trades for this stuff. All right. So definitely hit me up for this Fortnite. Check out Instagram. I will be Instagramming some photos over there of the uh, opening as well. All right. We got another opening. Let me get this garbage out of the way. I can throw this, it's safe to say, let's throw that away. All right, next opening, guys, we're going to crack open Garbage Pal Kids. Revenge of the uh, Horrible Sticker Cards, guys. Looking for legendary cards. There are uh, 
Um, really cool cards you can get in here. Sequentially numbered uh, base parallels, uh, blood splatter golds, one in 145 packs, printing plates, a uh, one in 2,615. Wow. Artist autograph, one in 400, one in 409. Sketch cards are one in 358. Paranoramic sketch cards, one in 852. So there's some really cool cards you can get here. That's why I decided on this product um, to open here new on the channel. We opened up one box. We didn't pull any parallels or anything. Uh, we pulled a bunch of stickers, but it was fun opening. I had fun opening these. Got a bunch of cards that this was crazy artwork on them. So we're going to see if we can get uh, some uh, some cool parallels. Maybe we'll get some nice openings here from this. Uh, I've been buying this stuff up as well, stocking and uh, stocking it up. And uh, this is uh, new for 2020, guys. Going to see if we can get some... Uh, Cool pulls from this. If you guys are interested in the stuff we pull from these cards, uh, definitely hit me up uh, on Instagram, guys. Um, if you guys are interested in this, you know, um, trading for this stuff that I opened up here or buying it outright. Um, if you, any of you guys out there know of Macari, it's another trading, it's another app where you can buy, sell, and trade. Any of you guys do Macari or heard of it? Let me know in the description down below, because I just signed up to sell on Macari, M-E-R-K-A-R-I. They take PayPal, credit cards, and all that. So I did set up to sell on Macari. So if you guys know about Macari, I'm not really too aware of what Macari is or how long it's been up and running, if it's a viable source to sell. Anybody know about that? Where did I get these? We're at uh, Walmart. I haven't seen these at Target. Target has like jumbo packs in the toy section. These are at Walmart in the checkout center. We're going to see what we got. This first pack here is like a bonus pack. You get all sticker cards. So uh, I'm going to take a look at these. Uh, what we got on these stickers. And check out the artwork. So we got... Each sticker says whether it's 1A or 1B or 2B or 2A or whatever of five. So we're going to take a look at this one. This is a 1A of five and take a look at this card. All right. Larcerated Lee peeled over in the bat in the shopping basket with the doll in the toy end of it. So garbage. these are all stickers. So pretty neat right there. Love and eat. Every time I go, I usually find two to three boxes. And I went up, I was going to buy two boxes uh, that I saw the other night. And when I went to go check out the Pokemon section in the back, I came back up. The two boxes that were there were gone. So someone else is buying them up too. All right, this one says 3B of 5. So this one is a Wally Flower. All right, so I don't know if that's Sam Sam from Walmart when he was younger. They pinned him up on the wall, Wally, Wally World. All right, and then we got Manny, Manny Eating. Manny Eating Shark with the people with the guts and everything spilled out. So pretty neat. I pulled this before with a great white shark slinged over and all the guts pouring down with the person inside. Wow, that's just crazy. All right. So that was the bonus like packs you get. You get the one uh, a three GP pack. That's what they call it right there. A three GP, a three GIP, three whatever it is. Three pack stickers. All right, you get that bonus in the five pack. So we got five packs of Revenge of the Horrible Garbage Pal sticker cards. Hopefully we got a parallel. Uh, I would love to pull one of those out of one of these packs. I haven't pulled anything like that out of here yet. So first pack up, guys. Going to see if we can pull something crazy. Uh, these are made by the Tops Company. Tops Trading Company. So we're going to see what we can pull here, guys, from this uh, Garbage Pal. I don't think there's any pack trick, guys, on this. So you won't have to do any pack trick. But we're going to check out this. Thud Bud. Check out that with the sewer. Smashed in between a sewer with his arms and legs and his head hanging out. Trapped in the sewer like that. Thud bug. Wow. 
regurgitating Reagan. Looks like Chucky is spitting him out. Oh, all right. Thumb Warren. Wow. All right. Reese Charge. <laughs> oh, my God. Metal Plate Nate. Well, I hope nobody thinks that's the real breaking Nate, guys. <laughs> Metal Plate Nate. There we go. Garbage Pal uh, Walt Street. Wow. Going on a killing spree down there. Axe and all the uh, trade stocks and bonds. That is just sick. Biggest fan, Ann. Oh, boy. All right. And then we got uh, Upside Down David. Wow. And then uh, that is it, guys. So there is our first pack. We didn't get anything crazy. Uh, all the stickers are marked in the back as what set they're from. 4A of 20 of the cult horror stickers. Then uh, that is a retro horror sticker. 80s horror sticker. Slash film sticker. Another slash film sticker. Modern horror sticker. And then another 80s sticker. So they are marked what sticker category they're in too so you got to collect from all those different categories so there we go all right so we didn't get nothing crazy some really nice art cards on there though or the st nice sticker cards all right so let's get into this next pack all the packs had the same artwork on them so nothing really crazy on that but these are fun i thought these would be just amazing to open up here on our channel so that's why we're opening them up uh, because I thought this would be fun a little different guys we're a universal channel here on this the gamer alliance guys we do not just Pokemon, all right? So that's what I'm trying to get through to you guys is you never know what we're going to open up here on the channel. It could be mini brands, could be uh, video game tutorial, Fortnite, could be Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic Garden, Dragon Ma I mean, Dragon Majesty, uh, Dragon Ball Z. You never know what we're going to open up on the channel, guys. I'm up to just opening just about anything on the channel, all right? Really am. All right, we got this one, Alien vs. Predator. So that's pretty neat. Loving that one. All right, I pulled that before. Purge Surge. Look at that. And these guys got the United States colors with the flag. If you guys don't know, he's holding... Oh, that's a gun. I thought he was holding a flag over there. It's a part of a gun with the red, white, and blue. Bloody Buddy. All right. Uh, jumping, jumping Jang. Boob to Briggs. Wow. All right. What do we got here? Birdie Poop. Oh, boy. That's a load down there. Look at all that. He let it loose. Got the whole city stinking in a stench. All right. Vampire. That's Michael Jackson's thriller right there. What are these doing to the girl? Oh my God, Michael, what are you doing? It's just a thriller. There we go. Rabbit Ralph. Now that's Cujo right there, if I ever say so. You guys remember Cujo the dog? The rabbit dog? Perfect example right there, Cujo. They put him on a garbage pal, kid. He was really foamed up. You never see that movie Cujo with the rabid dog. Go check out the movie Cujo. That's him right there, boys. Big old St. Bernard like that got bit by a rabid raccoon and went crazy on people. Cujo. Really crazy. We didn't get anything crazy for you. Let's check out on the back here what we got. Colt. All right, we got a horror personality sticker. All right, so that's a little different. All right. Let's go. See what we get on this third pack. Nothing really crazy, guys. You didn't pull any of uh, those hard-to-get stickers. I'm just looking to see if there's anything maybe different in the side. They're all white bordered around. All right. Gorgon George. All right. Slender Slade. That is Jack from uh, the Night Nightmare Before Christmas or something. I think it was a Nightmare Before Christmas. 
Jack. All right, Dark Dario. Hans Cuffed. So Jar Jar Binks finally, uh, not Jar Jar Binks, but uh, what's his name? Jabba the Hutt finally got Han Solo. Look what happened. Holy water. Don't touch me with any of that water. Turn that guy, put the X on him, mark it a beast on his forehead. He's getting ready to put another X, the three X's, right? Or the sixes, 666, six, six, but he's putting X's. All right, there we go. Ted Lights. Wow. Trick or Pete. It's pretty neat. And we got Psycho Killing. Wow, look at this guy. In the shower with the, with the knife. Going crazy in there. Wow. All right. Crazy. Let me see if we got any... Oh, we got a Folklore Monster sticker. Which one was that? I don't think I ever pulled any of it. That was that one right there. So that's a new kind of sticker. All right, and those are the same. All right, got two packs, guys. Let's see what we get here from these guys. Love these stickers, though. This is pretty neat. All right, here we go. Grudge Judge. Bubba Duke. Rex Rex. Look at this guy. Mobile. <laughs> you see this guy? Conflicting Carpenter? Holy cow. Holy Hogwile? Sloshy Joshy? <laughs> wow. Holy cow. Everybody's vomiting all over that guy. Gross Gilmo. I saw some pretty neat cards. I think Dave Third Art, Third Art Wood would love these cards. He could probably do some, some more additions onto those cards. That's for sure. All right. Let's get into this guy and let's go check out what we got. I got some last pack magic. Last pack magic. Let's see what we can get here, guys, out of this last pack magic of the garbage. Pal Kids, Revenge of the Horrible, guys. Let's see if we get a parallel card in this pack. All right. Here we go, guys. Devilish Damien. Oh, boy. The Omen. Is it the Omen? Where Damien was in there? That's probably where that came from. The Omen. I think it is the Omen. With Damien. That, uh, the kid there. Ben... Head. Ground Chuck. Oh, there's Chucky. That is definitely Chucky. There it is. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Jerked Joe Boob or Joe Bob. All right. Well, this is different. We got like a parallel border is different. Love Stick. Wow. All right. Tiffy Stevie. Oh, look at this one. Bottom of the Blake. That is awesome. Loving that. Loving that card. That sticker, rather. All right, and then we got Tiffany Topper. Wow. Chucky and the Bride of Chucky. Check out that card. That is neat right there. A stitched up cake with blood as as awesome, gruesome but awesome. The Br Chucky and the Bride of Chucky, that is awesome, guys. These cards are amazing. I'm loving these artwork on these Garbage Pal kids. I remember back in the day they came out with these things too. Uh, these Garbage Pal uh, back in the I think it was the 80s when these things came out. Um, yeah, but loving these stickers, guys. Um, so that is our openings, guys. If you guys are interested in these stickers, guys, I will be uh, photoshopping them right on over. Well, photoing them over to uh, Instagram. You guys can check out the openings over there. Uh, we'll be posting them up to 
Instagram. But if you guys are interested in uh, trading for these cards or trade, you're making a set, there's certain stickers that you're looking for, uh, or certain stickers that you just want to collect because you, you found it, they were awesome, and you don't want to buy the box or buy the packs, uh, definitely hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, or Twitch. I'm um, just going to put all these wrappers from the packs inside this box. I love how the box comes in like this little coffin. Uh, so that is going to be neat right there. Oh, so that is neat. Let me get all of this stuff out of the way because we got all this stuff here that has to move out. Get that down on the floor and get this out of the way. We get these Garbage Pal stickers right here up out of the way. So loving that, guys. Definitely loving that. I got a few more code cards for you guys as well. Let's uh, drop that down there. All right. All right. Get that out of the way. Got some more code cards. These are white card codes. I do have some code cards I will be throwing up to Instagram as well. Um, what am I looking for? Okay, that's down there. I wonder if there was something else I was looking for. All right, that's there. All right. Oh, the other thing. Okay, got it. Got it, what I was looking for. Okay, got it. I got it, guys. All right, got these code cards for you guys, so give these guys to you right there. That was a breakthrough for a breakthrough booster pack. You got a Sticky Siege, Evolutions booster pack, and a Dragon Majesty code card. I do have thousands of code cards, guys. I have thousands of code cards just loose. Uh, so I can give you guys code cards. I do have them. Um, been saving them for a while uh, over the years of me doing YouTube. Um, so, wanted to, I know there was something bigger for me to do with them, uh, so that's why, uh, in some of my videos I gave out, uh, some of them, and I kept some of them, because I knew there was a future plan for these, uh, that I was going to be doing with them, so I didn't want to hand out all my code cards in every video, and as you guys know, we're in 2020, so you guys know that in 2020, the deal is that I won't be giving you guys all the code cards. As you guys have been following me through in 2019, you know, in the last month of December, uh, I was telling you about the changes that were coming to the channel. So that was part of the deal, all right? That was uh, of one of the updates to the channel. You guys won't be getting all the code cards on the channel in the openings, all right? That they will be forwarding over to the social media end of it on some of them. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, Twitter, or Twitch, well, you guys need to follow me over there. You need to hit me up on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, all linked in the description down below, guys. Make sure you follow me over there if you guys are looking for code cards. Make sure you're definitely following me on Twitch because uh, I've been posting code cards over there uh, and people have been grabbing them. I'm going to be deleting videos, fo uh, photos from Instagram so I don't have them flooded with the same code card up there. Uh, I mean, taking out that photo and put a new photo for the current code cards that I have that are going on there. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, all right, uh, for other code cards. And it's going to be on a first come, first serve basis, all right, for that end. Um, but uh, as we go forward, guys, um, with, you know, the giveaway, which is uh, what we got now. If I can find my jug, is uh, we have a 950 subscriber giveaway. So, uh, how you get entered into this is comment 950 in my current video, guys, and you get entered in two tickets. Make sure you're following the simple rules, guys. Got to be 13 years of age or older. If you're below the age of 18, man. Best advice I can tell you, make sure you have your parents or guardians permission before you enter any giveaway, guys. If you're found not to comply with the rules, you will be disqualified from the giveaway. All right? So, make sure you comment on the video. 950 in the description, in the comment section, get you entered in to the giveaway. You must be a subscriber to the channel as well. All right? So, you'll get two entries that put you into the 950 and into the 1,000 subscriber. Now, if you want to earn additional entries, here's how you can earn some additional entries 
from me. So you want to earn extra entries, guys? Well, the first way you can earn extra entries is if you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Twitch, for each one of the social medias you follow me on, you will get one extra ticket per social media. So if you follow me on Instagram, you get a ticket, an extra entry. All right? You follow me on Twitter, an extra entry. You follow me on uh, Twitter, extra entry. You follow me on Facebook, another one. All right? So you can earn up to four extra entries. Follow me on the social media. So each one you follow me, you get one. If you want to send in some fan mail, guys, right there is a P.O. box from Henry the Card Collector. Uh, there is fan mail you can send in, and I will give you five additional tickets per fan mail. So you want to send in fan mail to the channel? Guys, it could be anything from code cards, energy card. You want me to sign an energy card and send it back to you? Uh, you know, consider that as fan mail. Um, that will earn you one, uh, five entries per fan mail. So you want to send in a bunch of fan mail? All right, make sure you put your YouTube name on the top of the letter. All right, and my address is right there. P.O. Box. It is also linked in the description below, and that will give you five additional entries per fan mail right here on these little tickets. You get five extra entries. All right. Another way you can earn entries, guys, is community trades. NC Packbuster is on his second trade with me, and right now we are currently trading um, Hidden Fates. I sent him five booster packs of, of um, what was those packs? Guardians Rising, and he is sending me a Espeon uh, GX Shiny from Hidden Fates. That was the uh, agreement, and uh, he got his end of the trade. Go check out NC Packbuster on his channel. All right, you can see him opening the mail of opening his five booster packs on his two videos. Oh, two videos uh, over there. Just check out. It's on one of the two videos that current videos that he has running. Check out one of those. You'll see he opens up the fan mail, uh, the trade mail over there, and he's got a bunch of mail he's opening. And one of them was the uh, five booster packs that I sent him for the trade. So um, he's got his second trade with me, and he's gonna get five. His he's gonna get five more extra entries as soon as the Espeon gets here. You get five more entries into the jug. He's already got multiple entries in here, uh, and we're working on our second trade that's in right now so it's in the mail so as soon as it comes guys i should receive it within the next couple of weeks or so um and uh again have five more extra entries into the giveaway to the 950 and 1000 subscribers so thanks again uh shout out to goes out to nc pack bus for our second community trades and our trades been going really smooth this is how we do the trades so pokemon beer guy listen up man look how me and nc pack buster are working these trades getting them done and out Wish we could trade, but you got to get 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 up on par and get these things rolling smooth, man. Follow, check out your Instagram when people are messaging you and get back. All right? All right, and another way that you can earn extra entries, guys, is for eBay. So if you guys want to uh, purchase stuff for me from eBay, um, check out eBay um, down uh, in the purple border. And I'll talk about eBay for just a minute because, uh, well, I'll talk to you just a minute on that. Uh, so we're not at 100%, and I'll tell you why. But it was no failure on my part, but I'll tell you what happened. Uh, so you guys can listen to the story. So if you check my feedback, can't say it's at 100%. It's at 99.2. And it's just, you know, um, I don't understand it, but that's how... I'm going to have to eat it. That's the way it rolls. And I tell you what I did and what I did about it and what you can do about it. But I can tell you what it might be. But we'll talk about that in a minute. All right. So I'm not worried about it, but just going to give you the ins and outs, ups and downs with eBay. And you just have to live with it and just continue to move forward with it. And that's what I decided to do. I mean, uh, I'm not no shame in the game. I'm just going to continue to do what I do. eBay. If you send in, uh, if you buy from your eBay, check out The Gamesman. Great deals on video games, Pokemon, cards, and more, guys. Um, check that out. Also, check out Instagram. I do have items on Instagram for sale. It'll tell you in the uh, in the description area. I, I wrote a comment on the thing. If it's up for sale or trade, hit me up there. If you guys are interested. And then, like I said, if you guys any know anything about Macari, hit me up. Let me know about Macari if you guys. M E R. A, uh, C A R Y. It's a new selling app um, that you can sell stuff, um, just like uh, 
Facebook Marketplace, but they accept credit cards and stuff like that. Uh, Macari, and you ship it out, and then uh, it's a 100% money-back guarantee kind of thing going on on those kind of things. Uh, and it's got photos kind of like Instagram. You just see the stuff, see the meet the seller and all that kind of stuff. So it looked neat. Um, so it's something I may be doing. So you guys may want to check out Macari. All right. So now eBay, guys. Great deals for me on eBay. Check me out, The Gamesman. If you have trouble finding me, hit the help and context button in your upper right or left on your screen. All right. Now, a sale on eBay for me um, went through um, with a guy. I think he bought on December 9th. Bought a bought a uh, he bought one of these mini brands. Um, actually, let me show you what it was. Actually, pull it out and show you guys. He brought this little uh, one of these. Uh, this is a Kikkoman soy sauce. So I have multiples. This is bag here is duplicates. I don't have these on eBay. Uh, I sent it out. I sent tracking numbers. I uploaded tracking numbers to eBay. Um, so the guy emailed me. I got the message on my phone. He messaged me um, that uh, the, what he said on there is he said that I stole... Well, why don't I show you on eBay? Why don't I just bring it up on, on, on a computer? So bear with me, guys. Let me show you on a computer. Hold on. Because proof is in the point. I mean, you know, let me bring it up on a computer. Let me get this stuff down. It's better to show you on that. I mean, I could talk to you and tell you about it, but for your you guys' edification, hopefully this guy doesn't detour you from selling on eBay. It's just something that you got to deal with and that you can expect can happen at any time. So, unfortunately, it happened to me, and uh, it could be a viewer retaliation or something here. So, I mean, it could be somebody who followed me on follow me on YouTube, doesn't like my channel, hates me for whatever reason, decide to order something on me, and then leave a negative regardless. So, that could be something that happened. It could be. But I just want to bring it up. So, bear with me, guys. Let me bring up my uh, thing. And... Uh, because I believe I still have the message here, so we can actually take a look at the message. All right. This is just so I can just verify to you, vouch. All right. All right. Here it is right here. January 3rd. I, I have to put it up so you guys can see it. See that right here? January 3rd, Radar. Radar is the eBay username. Radar underscore 422 has sent a question about an item. There's the item number ending. Um, let me move that uh, thing out of the way. Ending on January 24th. I don't know why it's saying ending on January, but there's a date, the 3rd, when the email was sent. I got uh, PayPal going on over here, too, as well. eBay auctions has been really good, guys. All right, let me go over here. Let's open up that question, that thing that happened here. And then I'm going to show you what I did. All right, so I sold Radar, this, guys. Radar has a question ending on the 24th. How can it be ending on the 24th or whatever? Zior brand soy sauce, green, packed fresh. All right. This is what he put on here, guys. Look at this. He said that I stole his money, and he was reporting reporting me and filing a complaint. All right, that's what he put. So, on the same day, I went back and I checked out my feedback. The same day, guys. I mean, he didn't give me a chance to respond. He responded back the same day, and I was at work when this happened. So... There's my ratio, 99.2%. This is what he put in the, there's a negative showing up. I have to show it because you guys are going to see it, but here's what he put. That I stole his money, took payment from PayPal, and refused a refund. He never asked for a refund. So how can I give someone a refund if he never asked? The only email I got was he said he, I stole his money, which is, is ridiculous. How am I going to steal your money? You never asked for 
a refund. You sent me something, said I stole your money. That was the email. Only email I got on July 3rd. That was it. All right. But anyway, let's go to this tracking numbers. So I reported him. I reported him. All right. And I also put up my reply. Now you guys can see the reply that I put right there. I put false claim, never requested refund, and the tracking numbers. Item was received and exactly what it did. Now if we go back and check the uh, view the item. I'm going to go view the item. Alright, here's the item. That's the item sold. All right. Let's go down. Let me back that up. Let me go to my uh, my selling. I'm going to find under the. Uh, things we can find the tracking numbers and see that it was shipped this is the only email that I received from this guy it was only from January 3rd I just want to go to my all my sold listings and find radar up underneath under my sold so that's what I'm scrolling through trying to find a sold so Just want to find it under here. You guys will be able to see it too. All right, here it is, right here. So here's the date when he ordered it. And it's it's a cheap item, two dollar ninety five cent item. I mean, it's just crazy. He is a hundred percent seller uh, buyer. There's the tracking numbers. All right, Mark this paid, feedback was left, and is marked as shipped. Now let's go to tracking numbers right here, where you can go to the tracking numbers, and you just click it, and it'll say when it was delivered. Status, and it tells you when it was delivered. All right. Item delivered in mailbox December 3rd in Sparks, Nevada. So, item was shipped, item was sold, he received it. And only sent one email on January 3rd that, that I stole his money. So I don't understand that one, guys. I mean, uh, I did have a lot of haters on the channel, and it could be uh, someone who hates is a hater on the channel and just going and buying off eBay just to put up negative feedback on my profiles. I mean, that could be what is going on too. That because I never had any negatives, guys, in over f the last five years of eBay, strictly. Smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. It's only till I started cross-promoting my eBay with you guys that all of a sudden now I get a negative. So it must be a follower on my YouTube under a YouTube name buying off eBay and just trying to crash my eBay. You know, that's what I, that's what I get because um, I never had any issues. Never had any issues. It went in a poly bag. Um, let me show you how it was mailed. I, I, I'm glad. I hope some of this stuff is informative for you guys that may be doing eBay and all that kind of stuff. So you can see, you know, this type of stuff you got to be dealing with. So for you guys' edification, it went in a poly bag like this. Um, with his address, my address on here, flap like this, it has a self-stick, boom, I taped that, and then I sealed it again with tape around it. 
mailed it out. Cost me, uh, I think, $3.95 to mail it in this bubble mailer. All right? So I mailed it out, and it went with tracking numbers first class. He received it, as you've seen. Uh, gave, commented the one day, uh, sent the email while I was at work. When I got home, I looked at it, and the following morning, there was a, there was a negative feedback that was posted without even me getting a chance to respond back to his claim. Um, so I, I ended up responding back to him, and then I opened a, I, re, I filed a dispute with eBay for false claim, um, because there's, you can only see the one email, the one that he sent me, that saying he, that I stole his money. And that's the only me email I got, not for email for a refund. And then he left. Um, I'm going to say it's immature feedback. All right? It's immature feedback because you don't give the seller time to follow through on what's going on with the transaction that was wrong. So he didn't even give me a chance to respond back to say, hey, Dude, what are you talking about? What happened? You can see on the tracking numbers that your package arrived. Go to the tracking numbers. So that's what I emailed him, told him, said, go check www.usps. You can see your item arrived. What happened? You know, then he could say if somebody stole it from his porch or something like that, that's not my issue. Um, all I have to do is show PayPal that it was received. It was delivered. So once it's, once it's been received, it's been delivered to his mailbox. I can't prove that your mailbox is an unsafe place to deliver. Only you know if you're having your mail stolen or you got people going by buying, taking mail out of your mailbox. I mean, if you got some people, friends that know you are buying stuff a lot off online, they may know that you you know you're an awesome suspect to go and get stuff from their mail when you're at work or something and grab your mail. You know, because you might have been telling, hey, I got this thing coming in the mail. I've been ordering a lot of eating. And they say, all right, oh, dude, I'm going to, I know this guy ain't home. I'm going to go to his mailbox. I know if I go at this time, I can take his mail. And that's probably what happened over there. But I can't say that's exactly what happened. But at least when you do eBay, you contact the seller, give them 24 hours to respond to your claim. All right. Let him respond to your claim. This guy didn't even give me time enough to lift my finger and type anything. So uh, it's it's a false claim that he's sending because I never stole anybody's money, never intended to steal anybody's money, and it's something I never done on eBay. I don't put up uh, eBay auctions to, to to scam somebody out of any money. I mean, and you know, I'm a legit salesman. 100% on eBay for like the last five, six years. So why would I scam him out of a little $2.95? The item was sent. Something happened in the transaction. Didn't give me time to respond back to see what's going on. And just left false feedback, you know, immaturely that doesn't reflect who I am or what happened. Because you got to give the seller time to get back to you to see what's going on here. What part of the transaction is he not happy with that transpired? So this guy left nothing. So I filed a claim with eBay, all right, and still waiting for them to get back to me on that end. Uh, and then I also blocked this seller from ever bidding on any of my auctions anymore. So he's blocked on here. So he'd have to come up with another account, another eBay selling account to, to buy off me because I don't want to be dealing with anybody like this ever again, uh, especially not him on eBay, so he's blocked from buying from me anymore, so he won't be able to place any more auctions with me, any more sales, because I don't want to be dealing with this guy, it's a little shady with him, so I don't want to be dealing with that, uh, and I also, um, I sent a uh, reverse feedback requisition form, now some of you guys are probably saying, well, what is that? If you can resolve something with a buyer, all right, and then he's satisfied, and you come to like an agreement on some kind of term, something is met that you're now the buyer is happy with. Um, then he can lift that feedback that he left immaturely and it'll reverse back. And then your feedback will go back to 100 percent. You can send those feedback requisition forms to the buyer that is left a negative and get your 
negative feedback removed. Some of you guys probably didn't even know you can do that, but I'm well-schooled on eBay, so I know how it operates and what you can do with regarding negative feedbacks and buyers that leave it prematurely. So um, that's what you can do. So whether they agree to do it or not, they have, I think, 10 days or something like that uh, to respond. If they don't respond, then it just goes off the chart and you just sit there with that negative feedback. Now, um, I was surprised how far the feedback went down. Like one negative took the feedback down 8%. It was at 100%. It went down to 99.2%. Now, what happens over time is as I get more positive feedbacks from all the other sales that go through, the ratio will start to go back up and it'll be at 99.8%. And then gradually that negative will fall off and it'll end up back at 100%. So I'm happy with what transpired. I mean, I'm happy. I did what I had to do. Now it's up to him. If he's going to do it, get back to me. That's on his end. But I clearly did nothing wrong. So, you know, I try to conduct business on eBay as fast, as quickly. Get your orders out. Leave the tracking numbers for what comes with tracking numbers and stuff that I don't do with tracking numbers regarding like cards that I normally just put in an envelope, mark it, do not bend. I mail it out, boom, with a stamp. As per the auction says, 55 cent. Uh, and I mail it out. And that's how I do business. I mean, uh, I just got some people that leave feedback. The card didn't come in a top loader, but that's, I clearly don't put them in top loaders because I was told that at the post, my post office, that the card could damage their equipment. So that's why I don't put it in and I don't up the shipping to $3.95 on a car. I just put in a slip a sleeve, mail it out, put do not bend on both sides of the envelope. I put do not bend here, and I put do not bend here. And for the most part, I haven't had any issues. Uh, as you can see on eBay, um, just take a look. Let's Let's go over the feedback. You can see that on here that in all the time that I'm selling, loose cards just in a plain envelope. These are booster packs. You can see loose cards, even GX cards that I sold. Wiggly Tufts, that there's positivity coming from the feedbacks. All right, that the people, I'm not getting any complaints there. Well, let's go on to the, uh, that's the sales. Let's go on, let's take a look at the feedbacks. So you guys can get a broader, um, aspect of it. what's up drop it all right so let's look at the sales all right there's a uh, glossopod shiny GX that was shipped 595 best seller ever communication communicates well and super priced will always deal with that's from Brian the truth. So, I mean, there's a card that went loose. An envelope marked fra uh, do not bend on both sides. So you can see. And there's a negative that I got from that one guy that just clearly doesn't know how to operate with eBay. Doesn't know how to operate with a seller. Communicate back to a seller. Just uh, post feedback like the same day. Posted a negative. Post an email to me and then post a negative the same day. Same day. There's a Charizard GX loose card. It go went in them without tracking numbers. Just a 55 cent stamp. Boom. Put it in an envelope. Banged it out. A Rosh Charizard GX 895. That card arrived undamaged. So I continue to do it, guys. And without putting tr tracking on a Pokemon card. Here I am selling many cards on eBay, guys. With very little issues. Everybody's excellent seller. I mean, people are getting their cards. Gyarados GX promo. Will buy from again. 
card perfect. I mean, this is what keeps me doing my eBay. I'm not going to go over more of it, but you guys can see. You guys can see. that That's why I continued. It's over. It says in a month, 12 months, 144 in one month, 142 in six months, 172. Uh, feedbacks, positive. And then there was a neutral way back, and then there was just that negative. I mean, really very little issues. So can you sell cards like that on eBay without tracking? Surely you can. Just mark the envelopes. And you know, like I said, I'm willing to send another card if something happened to one of the cards. I'm willing to send out another card. And that's how I've always been with eBay. Um, so, yeah, you can send a card out without putting in a top loader. It's in a salt, regular soft sleeve. Taped at the end. Put it in the envelope. Mark, do not bend on the envelope. Do not bend. Bow, throw it in there with a 55 cent stamp. Mail it out. I've been having very little issues. All right? But, yeah. So I got a negative. No harm done. You know, I'm still going to continue to do it eBay the way I've been doing it for years. Very little trouble. Uh, I am going to be updating to a new sleeve, an Ultra Pro uh, Slimline uh, sleeve. Um, it's lighter than the top loader. It's a kind of top loader kind of like sleeve that you would put, send your cards into PSA and that kind of thing. It's a soft plastic top loader, but it's a more harder plastic. Uh, so I'm going to be ordering those to ship cards out in, in the future for eBay. But yeah, I, I'm going to have to live with this negative. But, you know, overall, um, like I said, it's a very inexpensive item. Um, I have a duplicate, so if the item got lost or something, I could have surely just mailed the guy another uh, Kikkelman thing because I have another one. Um, but, yeah, but this, this kind of guys I don't like dealing with. Uh, these kind of buyers, that's just shady. That's just shady on his part. Uh, bad communication to, to the seller. Just post an email and then negative feedback right away without giving anybody an opportunity to see what's gone wrong in the transaction or something that he wasn't happy with. So that that's I don't want to deal with people like this. So definitely blocked him out. And like I said, it could be a viewer. Could be a viewer that's a subscriber to the channel that doesn't like me for whatever reason. Could be one of the haters from the old house that's following me on eBay because I still have them following here from time to time. Uh, could have been one of them. So very shady right there. So you see him, uh, you know, radar underscore 422. Um, yeah. Um, very shady on that part. But that's just bad. It's just bad. I just, I don't like that kind of maneuvers that you that that they, they do like that that's just uncalled for and that's unprofessional right there so definitely going to stay away from this guy he has been blocked all right so i want to share that with you guys so if you guys ever went to my ebay and said whoa this guy got a negative all right look at the negative looked at the reply that i posted back check my feedback still very impeccable feedback regardless to the one shady character right here I'm still doing eBay, still uploading auctions, and still moving forward with my eBay, guys. This is not going to hinder me, not one bit. It's not going to deter me from selling. Uh, but just learning lessons, guys. For some of you guys younger, saying, ah, oh, I can't sell because people are leaving negatives. Just remember to stand behind what you do and to continue to strive forward. Strive forward because there was a lot of mistakes I made when I first started doing eBay. All right? A lot of mistakes. Some I regret because I was in debt when I did it and needed money. Uh, I mean, it was, I made bad decisions, bad selling decisions, selling stuff that I shouldn't have sold, um, that I should have waited for a better day. But since I had rent to pay, I had to just sell it just to get money back. And a lot of stuff that I, you know, sold, I could have got more money for if I waited. But, um, it was back in my learning days on eBay. Um, I was buying with borrowed money. I was you know, when I say borrow money, it was money that should have went for the rent. I went and used it to buy something to invest in. And uh, it was one of my learning experiences back when I first started doing eBay years, many years ago, many years ago. Um, and I just say, once you get your eBay to the level of where I have it, as you're building up to that level, um, it's a learning experience every step of the way. But once you get your business on par and you get financially free from from debt 
credit card debt and everything, guys. You can do so much with eBay um, that it can really uh, it can really do a lot of things, help you out in a lot of ways. All right. I mean, it could really propel you to the next level. So, like I said, if you can operate a business debt free, use it and and get and be debt free. Use your profits to get debt free. Uh, use your selling aspect of eBay to to um, to be debt free. Uh, clear up credit card debts, um, and then if you got a credit card, guys, um, you can use that credit card to empower your business. Um, like I started off with, I got into with Dave Esmanino, which they don't even teach you guys anymore how to use uh, OPM, other people's money, to empower your business. OPM is not using like you guys' money. It's using the credit cards to empower your business. That's what they're talking about. So you can take a credit card to start a business, uh, a home-based business. And that's what I use eBay. I started with the credit card uh, after taking Dave Espinino's course. Um, and it taught me a lot about eBay and it helped me grow my eBay business. So um, I'm enjoying this. Enjoying this. It's another level of off Pokemon off the channel. Um, that's another part of what I do. Uh, so I enjoy this. You have your ups and downs. Like I said, you have your ups and downs with this kind of stuff going on. Uh, but very, very minimum. Very minimum. So really not to really worry about. I'm not really worried about but I want to share that with you guys today. Uh, and I'm not worried about it. I'm able to still walk away. I've still got a smile on my face. Just, I did everything I could to try to handle that. And it's up to this guy. It's in this guy's ball field now to either remove it get back to me to try to handle out work out something uh that he wasn't happy with and if he's not happy he's still not happy with the outcome of the whole thing and doesn't want to leave the you leave the feedback up i'm still happy with that so um i'm just going to do my part as a seller to do what i have to do and um that's what i did so um, but don't let that detour you guys from doing eBay. If you ever decide to sell on eBay, um, you know, don't let stuff like that detour you from selling or um, doing anything moving forward in your life with trying to do stuff. Um, you got to take baby. I'm going to leave that the way it is. You got to take baby steps um, when you first start off. But I enjoy it, guys. I, I, you know, I'm not ashamed. There's no shame in my game. It's. Uh, I handled what I handled, did what I had to do, and uh, I'm still going forward with it. So um, that's just uh, parts of doing business. I mean, if you have a shop, I mean, you get the same aspect. You got a person returning something at the store, you know, uh, wants his money back. Got to give him the money back. Customer, you know, he brings the item back. You got a policy in force. Um, I have a policy in force on eBay. I accept returns. But it got to be sealed product. If I give you something sealed, don't open it up and send it back to me and expect a full refund. Because it's now it's not in sellable condition. It's open. It's own. It's, it's used item now once you opened it. I didn't sell it to you open, so I don't expect you as to send it back as open. So, therefore, you're not entitled to a full refund on my end for an item that you opened up. So, on like these items here, yeah, certainly I would take an item if, you know back because it's not opened it's in the thing there uh certainly i take them back because i can resell it back out it is new but it's out of the pack because i opened it just like i opened the cards cards are pack fresh in the top loader or whatever uh and they go out but it's not they're not used but there is new open you know because fresh out of you know you guys understand all right so um if you enjoyed this video guys Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's go into our 950 subscriber giveaway, guys. We've got that going in tow. Uh, so if you guys want to enter into the giveaway, before we close out here, guys, um, get your extra entries into the giveaway. Send it in community trades and fan mail. All right, five extra entries per. For however many you want to send in eBay mail, you will get five additional entries as well. All right, but on eBay, almost forgot, guys. On eBay, guys. On eBay to get your five extra entries, make sure that you put under your note to seller in the eBay checkout. There's a note to seller area. Make sure you put your YouTube name in that on eBay. eBay, very important, all right, to entitle you to five extra entries, all right? Almost forgot about that. 
For this, just community trades and fan mail, guys. Make sure you include your YouTube handle name when you send any fan mail. Or if you want to do community trades, don't send cards and say, hey, I want to trade these for a pack. Con contact me first before you send any stuff for a trade. That way it's finalized. You finalize it with me. All right, first, don't send no stuff in unless it's finalized by me. So hit me up, and then let's work on a trade. Once we got a final finalized trade, we agree on both ends of it. Uh, what you're going to receive, what I'm going to receive. Once we got that finalized, boom, the trade is going to be going down. All right, send your part in. I'll send my part out. You got your part. I got my part. Both happy. You get your five entries, and we move on. All right, because I like to post that stuff to Instagram as well and show people what we traded off. So definitely want to share that on Instagram. All right, so let's get on to our 950 subscriber giveaway package card. So you guys, I'm going to go over this very quickly, guys. We're already in an hour, 30-something minutes. So 950 subscriber giveaway, guys. We got full art cards. All right. We got a trainer, Hex Maniac, and a Mega Camera Up EX, and a full art trainer, show, uh, Karen. So these are individual giveaways, so single prizes. So three winners right there. So three subscribers going to win that. Uh, full art, each going to win a full art. And the same goes for these individual giveaways right here for these GX cards, EX cards. Hyper Rares, uh, Thunderous GX, Kangaskhan GX, Mega Taranter EX, Arola and Nolan Executor GX, Nolan Marowick GX, uh, Mawal EX, Moultrie, Zapdos, and Articuno GX, and we got a Florges Break. All right, all single prize winners right there. So, a lot of winners here on the channel. For these cards, single prizes, boom, let's stick those up there. And then we have all these hollows, guys, and Prism Star. All right, Hollow Cadillo, Yvettel, Black Kiram Hollow, Sand, Anola Sandshrew, Curlia, and a Prism Star Lunala. So all single prize winners for those hollows. All right, you want to enter into the 950 subscriber giveaway? Uh, comment 950, and that puts you in to the 1,000 subscriber giveaway giveaway as well all right just comment 950 i will be sharing this on instagram i do have to take snapshots to post that to, to instagram i will do that today so that'll be on instagram for 950 subscribers so photos for this stuff will be up on instagram do have to shoot that over as well all right so that's our 950 subscriber giveaway package guys right there so uh, get in comment 950 in the uh today's video uh guys that are just following me or are new to the channel Remember, we got a 7 p.m. premiere video tonight. 7 p.m. We'll be back at you guys with another video. All right. And just on a side note, guys, I want to get some feedback from you guys. Um, let's see if I can use a sample here. So let me pull. You know what? Let me. Hey, this is a perfect example. Let me see how you guys feel about this. Now. Shout out goes to Dave Third Art Wood because uh, he's he's doing something with a couple other guys um, that is uh, that is called Pay Forward. I'm not sure if you guys ever uh, seen anything like this, but this first time I seen something like this, and it inspired me to do something with you guys. So this is what I'm willing to do. So take a look at this. Go check out Dave Third Art Wood with something he's doing under a pay forward. All right, pay it forward. This is how his pay it forward works. I'm just going to bring up the two cards that are mine. All right, now say I have a mailing list. I have you guys' mailing list. I have two cards, and I'm going to start out by sen sending my two cards out first to somebody. All right, and... What how the pay forward goes is you have to select one of the two cards. All right, so I'll tell you what I'm doing, and this is just samples going up. So pay it forward. Go check out Dave Third Art Wood. He's doing this right now. Currently, I think the cards are going to NC Packbuster. I think it's going to. Uh, so. It's called Pay It Forward. So there's two cards, all right? 
and the cards got a value on them. So what you're going to do is say I sent this to Team Marshadow, these two cards. What Team Marshadow does is he's going to select one card. So he could say, well, I'm going to take this because I like this card or I need this for my collection. And that leaves that card. So he's got to leave that card there. And he's got to add another card to that, that the one that he took. It's got to be of the same value or greater. So you can't take one card and say, well, I'm just going to put a hollow foil in there that's worth two cents. you got to put cards in there that are the same or equal value, uh, same value or higher back into the cards and you're going to send that back out to somebody but you're going to sign a piece of paper saying that uh you got that from cj pokemon was the last one to sign it now you got to sign your name on it and send it forward to the next person and then they got to put their name on it and they're going to get their pack that card those cards that you put in there and they're going to select one and they're going to sign the paper and send it off to someone else so i i thought that was kind of neat it's called pay it forward so what i decided what I decided I'm going to do is I'm going to do it with full art cards. So I'm going to select two full art cards, all right? And I'm not going to call mine Pay It Forward. Um, what was the name I was going to use? I forgot what I was going to call it, but I'll get something going, guys. Um... I'm going to send mine out to someone, but before I send them out, I'm going to make sure that they're willing to go on par with this. All right, so um, I'm going to do mine with full art cards since I collect full arts. So I'm going to put two full arts that are duplicates of what I have or duplicates that I have in stock. It could be from my collection, could be from my promo binder or whatever, but I'm going to select two full art cards and... I'm going to send my two cards to someone with a slip of paper, all right, how it's supposed to go down, and uh, see how far we can go with it with full art. So that person is going to be able to select one full art, and then he has to put another full art of equal or greater value in that and send it off to somebody else. And we're going to see how long we can get that going on. So if you guys are interested in doing a kind of like pay forward kind of thing, that's swinging around right now with CJV Pokemon, um, Dave Third Art Wood, and uh, now NC Packbuster. Um, guys, get on board. Hit me up in the comments section on Instagram, Twitter, or Twitch. Let me know what your feelings are because I would like to do that with a full art. Uh, do some full art because I collect full arts. So maybe the next time it comes around, I'll have some full arts that I need uh, that I'm able to switch out some full arts. Now remember, um, if the cards have to be of equal value, so just keep that in mind, equal or greater value. So don't try to jerk the system that we're trying to do, all right, that I'm trying to do with sending less than quality cards in the set, all right? Make sure your full arts are in really good shape, not all banged up and tattered, uh, and Let's do a kind of like pay it forward, but I'll, I'll get the name down before I start doing it. I'll let you guys know when I got this initiated. So any of you guys interested in doing something like that, hit me up in the comment section. Hit me up on Twitter, Twitch. I will need a mailing address for those that will like to get involved with this kind of thing. So I, at least I can make a list involved around people that want to do it. All right. And you're going to put a full art card in there, you know, of a duplicate or something that you don't have or that you... Uh, that you have, and uh, we're gonna do something like a pay it for. I think that was a great idea, I think it's awesome, but I like to do it with full arts, and uh, you know. Let me let me get your vibes on this, guys. All right, so we're not doing it with this because this is part of the giveaway, but I do have a lot of the full arts, and I have duplicates um, that I can do. So um, definitely wanna get into something like that, so whew, hit me up. Definitely gonna port that over to Instagram, let everybody know about that. I um, think that's kind of neat. I might call it just a uh, full art trade off or something like that, trade out or something. But uh, but you're gonna send it forward, and you're gonna keep sending that list out. It's gonna revolve around wherever it goes. It goes, but hopefully it comes back. And nobody rips us off and keeps the stuff and never sends it back out. But hopefully it comes back out and ends up back at my doorstep and goes back around again. So. Uh, we're going to see how long we can get it rolling, guys. 
And if you gotta add paper to it to add your name on the list because it gets so long, well, <whistles> add the paper if it gets filled up. Just add that paper to it and send it out with the rest of the paper with a new sheet. I'll try to, I'll try to add enough paper to uh, keep the list going um, so you can add your name to it. And let's see how far we can go with it. That, I think it's going to be pretty neat. All right. All right, so without further ado, guys, um, remember to hit that like button. Hit the like. Subscribe up. Share the video out. If you have your own channel, if you're on Instagram, uh, social media, send it out there. All right, let them know about the giveaway. Let them know about the trade-off that we're gonna, you know, I'm looking to do with the full arts. You know, um, so I think that's gonna be awesome. All right, definitely, definitely interested in that. It looks awesome. All right, definitely gonna hit it up on a few guys uh, that I know, see if it's something they would like to do, uh, play a part. So at least I have a list of people that. Are interested in doing it if you guys are interested make sure you hit me up in the comment section hit me up on the instagram twitter twitch facebook links in the description down below if you guys want to get some ebay auctions buying and get some extra entries in make sure you hit me up on ebay all right and you can find me if you have trouble finding me remember to hit that help and contact all right uh without further ado guys um let's get this bad boy back up there because that is very important part of why I started a channel is to stay in compliance. So there's that. Remember to come on back here, join me. Join me back here on the 7 p.m. premiere. Join me back here at the 7 p.m. premiere tonight. Get a, uh, another video going for you guys. Hopefully we get some Pokemon cards opening then. Uh, and uh, without further ado, guys, get out there and catch them all and have a what? Have a ball. And I'll see all of who? I'll see all of y'all, all of you people. Yes, I'm talking to each and every one of you guys in my what, of course, in the next video. So come on back here between the hours. Woo. Too much wind blowing back here. Come on back here. Check me out between the hours of 11 a.m. To 12 p.m. Eastern Pacific Time, Mondays through Saturdays, and then Sundays and Mondays, same time, all right? And then Sunday and Monday, 7 p.m. premieres on this channel, guys, for another awesome video, all right? My dudes, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this channel. Thank you for all of your support. I wish you guys a very merry and prosperous new year. The very best of luck with your YouTube channel, if you have one. Very best of luck in the new year. Hopefully it's going to be a prosperous new year. Maybe it's a new job for you. Maybe you're just doing a YouTube channel. Very first YouTube channel. Wish you the very best of luck in your endeavor. And I just welcome you guys to the Gamer Alliance community, guys. So without further ado, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. Come on back here at 7 p.m., check me out, and I'll see you guys on the next video, guys. A little bit of peace, a little bit of love, and a high five. And I'll see all you guys in the next video, guys. Take care, be square, and I'm out of here.